Hey, Donna here with another book review. Uh, today's book is The 12 Week Year. Uh, it says, Get more done in 12 weeks than others do in 12 months. Um, you might know by now that I love efficiency, I love productivity, um, anything that makes things go faster, um, I love. So um, this book was awesome. I read it actually in one sitting pretty much um, on flight and uh, really enjoyed it, put into practice uh, what he calls the battle plan. Um, and it's really just being strategic about what are your goals. You break your goals down instead of having annual goals like you would um, with like New Year's resolutions. You um, pick one to two big goals and um, you map it out over the next 12 weeks and you break it down into chunks and just say, okay, what are the major action steps that are going to get me uh, to that goal? And then um, as you break it down week by week and then day by day, and you just do that every single day. And, uh, you know, there's really something to the habit of consistency. And um, I think most people are inconsistent. You know, they say that by like, January 21st, there's only 10% of people that are still um, committed to their New Year's resolution. And, um, you know, a lot of our competition in uh, the world and for whatever that we're doing is going to be inconsistent because I think we are just inconsistent by nature. And so that is what um, the authors talk about is um, what tools can we use uh, to organize our thoughts, to organize our actions so that um, we're actually producing actions on a daily basis that step us one step forward every single day toward our goal. And that's a whole lot more than most people are doing. Um, you know, I've heard the analogy of like rocking on a rocking horse. And if you're rocking back and forth and rocking back and forth, um, yeah, you're doing a lot of action. You're putting in a lot of work, but you're not getting anywhere. <laughs> that rocking horse is staying in the same place. Um, active non-action. And um, the 12 week year, when you uh, really sit down and look at just one or two goals rather than having a whole bunch of goals um, and then you just focus on that for those 12 weeks and uh, like I said again just being consistent every single day even if you don't reach that goal you'll be so much further than if you just try to map it out over a whole year when you know six months from now who knows where you're gonna be or what's going to have happened in your life and so um, when we shorten that time frame and pretend like every week is a whole month um, you're gonna be a lot more motivated to take big steps forward um, whether it's a bus business goal or a fitness goal or just a personal development goal if it's like reading or um, something like that you know you can make your goal be whatever you want it to be but um, I love how they break it down. I love, um, they talk about having an accountability partner, but that it's not really holding people accountable, that we uh, hold ourselves accountable, that we want to be impeccable with our word, um, which is something that comes from the book, The Four Agreements. But um, basically that decision to have integrity with your word, have integrity with what you've committed to, with that goal that you've created, the action steps that you've decided are going to get you to that goal. And then you do it. And you know what? If you don't end up reaching that goal, who cares? You're the one that assigns the meaning to, you know, success or failure or whatever. But isn't it a success if you've gone, you know, 39 steps in the direction of a goal then two, because you actually set out a plan, you actually did something consistently every single day. Schedule it in your calendar, block off, block off that time, block off that space if it needs to be a physical space for you to get it done. Um, whatever you need to do to make sure that um, those daily action steps happen. And um, like I said, you'll be so much further along on your goals than if you just look at a whole year uh, in advance instead of just 12 weeks. So um, I would definitely recommend grabbing a copy of the 12-week year. Uh, it'll kind of kick you in the butt 
if you're up for that. So, all right. Have fun with it. Bye-bye for now.